Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to automatically get the name of all worksheets within a workbook. So I have a workbook which consists of many worksheets or many tabs. As you can see, we have several tabs. And what I want to do is I want to go within the main tab and get a list of all these worksheets. Now, obviously, one way to do it is just to go and automatically type the names of these worksheets or go and copy paste them and insert them into the main tab. But we don't want to do that. We want an automatic method for getting an updated list of all the worksheets. And we want this to be 100% automated. And I'm going to teach you to do that in this video. Before we begin, if you appreciate the information, it would mean a lot to me if you smash that like button and also subscribe. That's all I ask. It helps the channel tremendously and as a thank you for doing that, I'll do my best to respond to as many comments as I can. Okay, that said, let's get started. So there are two steps involved and the first step is as follows. We have to create a named formula and to do that, we have to go to the name manager and click on new. And we have to define a name for our new name formula. In this case, I'm going to name it Sheet Names. And the formula we have to insert in the bottom where it says refers to is currently displayed on the screen. So all you need to do is copy and paste the formula into this section, as so. And what this named formula does is that it gives us the name of the first open worksheet within the workbook. I'll click on OK. And as easy as that, our named formula has been created. OK, so that was the first step. The second step is we need to insert a formula which references the named formula, which we created via the name manager. And doing so is very simple. All we have to do is to copy and paste the formula similar to the formula which is currently displayed on the screen. So you can see a formula currently displayed on the screen. All you have to do is insert that formula within any cell. Now in this case, I'm gonna insert it in cell C3. And the reason I'm inserting it in cell C3 is because tail end of the formula already references C3. So you just have to make sure this last part, that is last argument over here, references that cell. For example, if you put it in cell, say F5, it has to end with rows, open parentheses, F5, semicolon, F5. So that's the only thing you have to change, depending on where you want to insert this formula. But since I'm putting it in cell C3, I'm not going to change anything, and I'll click on Enter. And as you can see, this formula has successfully returned the name of the first open worksheet within this workbook. And that's being done by referencing the named formula, which we created in the name manager. And then this formula is returning the first open tab within this workbook. Now, in order to get the name of the remaining worksheets, all you have to do is to drag this formula down. So how this works is every time you drag this formula down, the sheet names, which you created in the name manager gets incremented by one. That means that once we drag this formula down by one cell, this cell, that is the second row, will return the name of the second worksheet. The third row will return the name of the third worksheet, and etc. And that's exactly how we can get the name of all worksheets within a workbook using these very two very simple formulas. And that's how it's done. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. That's all for today. Bye now.